everyone. My name is Mary Beth. Welcome to my channel. I'm so happy you're here today. So I'm excited to be part of the Sunday Fun Day. And it is hosted by Yanni and Diane, as well as Trish and Kay. So today I've got four DIYs for you that are fall. And I'm really excited to show them to you. It's my first fall DIYs of the season. So this first one was really simple. I found these on sale for like 70% off. I believe I have a haul from Michael's. Um, they're, you know, 4th of July uh, Americana, and that's why they were on sale. So this first one, the house, oh my goodness, I tried to get the star off the front. It was not coming off. So I decided to use the back side of it. And I'm using some scrapbook paper. It's actually cardstock scrapbook paper. Um, this collection, I used it a lot throughout uh, this video. And anyway, I liked the colors, very fall colors. And there's this um, kind of this teal stripe in there, as you can see. So I'm just gonna cut it to fit inside the house and I will end up, um, you know, mop hodging that in. But I wanted to mix some paint that would match that stripe, that teal colored stripe. I really love that. I have some pumpkins and things that I already have that are similar to that color. So I thought that would be kind of fun. So you'll see me mix up some paint. I used pool and moss, yeah. And I just uh, worked on mixing those a little bit just to kind of get close to that color. I love mixing paints, so much fun. Anyway, so I will paint the entire house that color. I also paint that tag the color as well in both front, back, inside, all that good stuff. Um, and then what I do, you'll see, I'm gonna use one of the, they're called cardstock stickers. Um, so they're, they're pretty heavy duty. I'm gonna um, glue like this thicker Jenga block in the middle of that house and then put that sticker on top. And then you'll see me just decorate with some fall florals. And then for the tag, um, I'm gonna decorate with fall florals as well. Um, and I do uh, use some wooden uh, little cute letters that spell out fall you'll see here in just a moment so sit back enjoy the music and i'll catch up with you on diy number two Let go of rain It's not your song to sing no more Goodbye blame Weights can't lift you up But you can find a way to drop them Can you feel the wind? Say you do, it's how it all begins Then comes reason, then purpose Well you will find your way Meantime, may the sun bless you with its rays It's how we learn It has to hurt, it has to hurt Every single turn Don't beg your pardon You're not someone's victim It has to hurt It has to hurt Drop them. When the new ones wait. 
hope you enjoyed the first DIY. I guess they're DIYs, but they kind of go together. Um, so yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did use some white wax to seal it. I just like adding that. You could use anything, clear wax, Mod Podge, whatever you have. All right. So moving on to DIY number two. And in this one, all right. So <laughs> it's kind of funny. So this is an apple. You can get it at Dollar Tree. It's like a, see, like a box apple. I have to say, I cannot find pumpkins to save my life. I have gone to two Dollar Trees, Hobby Lobby, Michael's. I don't know. I'm just like the little cutouts like everybody has. I cannot find them. So I did order some from Amazon. They don't get here until early this coming up week, but that's okay. So I had an apple, which is fall this apple box thing. So what I did is I'm using a few different colors. Um, the, uh, what's it called? Lacquer and then moss, a little bit of that yellow. I did not end up using the plaster color. Now it looks, I know it looks a little weird right now, but in real life, once it was kind of blended in, pulling out some yellows and greens, it, it did end up turning out pretty cute. Hopefully you saw that in the pictures. By the way, at the very end, you're going to see all these items together on a tiered tray that I made. And I did film me making the tiered tray just in the event somebody has never made one. It's so easy. So anyway, all right. So all I did was, and I did paint inside all around because, you know, it'll show. So I got these floors. Some were from Dollar Tree. Some were on sale at, at, at Mary Beth, where, oh, Michael's, uh, sorry, sorry, Hobby Lobby, 40% off all fall. So these picks were $1.99, but they were 40% off. So they were just slightly over a dollar. And so you will see some uh, Hobby Lobby picks and uh, florals as well. But I got good deals on them. Um, so right now, 40% off. Anyway, all right, so I'm just going to fill this up. And as I'm doing this, I'm like, hmm, what am I going to do in the front? <laughs> you know, I don't even know. So I'm just working on this, um, just putting some florals and, you know, the picks, whatever, in here. And then I do decide... Um, what did I decide to do? Oh, I ended up deciding to just do, I wrapped a little bit of twine around that teeny stem at the top of the apple. And then I just did a simple twine bow and then a little raff, raffia, 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 whatever bow. <laughs> um, you'll see that here in just a moment. Look at those picks are kind of cute. I got those at Dollar Tree. Um, I really liked them. I think I got that color. I want to say there were a couple different colors. Um, but anyways, I did trim. They were a little long for this particular um, DIY. So I did trim them down just slightly. Um, but yeah, so I thought this one turned out really cute. It's an apple. But to me, apples are a big time part of fall, obviously. Um, I live in Omaha and there's a city called Nebraska City. You'll have to look it up. It's like there's a big, it's called Arbor Lodge. And I think it's one of the biggest, like, whatever like tree arbor lodge place but you can go apple picking and it's really a lot of fun um i love caramel apples by the way anyway so it does remind me of fall and um yeah so this one was really quick really simple again i cannot wait to get some pumpkins <laughs> i have some ideas for some pumpkins so stay tuned because i'm going to be doing a lot of fall diys um coming up as i did Fortunately, I was able to go to Dollar Tree and some places and, and did get some DIY stuff. I mean, fall stuff. All right, let's move on to number three. This garland was a lot of fun to make. Okay, that thick piece of wood came from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to use that. And I'm, I am I got these ribbons on sale 40% off at Hobby Lobby. Um, so I picked out three different ribbons. This really pretty orange burlap, huge roll of them. I think it was $9.99 normally, but again, 40% off. So that was a good deal. So it was, what would that be? $5.99? Something like that. Um, but it's it's a huge roll. Anyway, so I cut these ribbons. I did cut them a little too long. So I would suggest, I think I probably cut them around eight inches. You could definitely cut these ribbons shorter because it kind of wasted some of it. So I do regret that piece. I painted the wood... Um, and the beads mineral by Waverly. And again, I'm using these cute stickers, just picking out a few stickers to put on either side and then I'll Mod Podge it. That's it for the wood piece. Then what I'll do is I made 21 beads and you know, I'm gonna use my twine and I'm gonna string all the beads on, but then 
at each end, I'm going to have all three ribbons tied on. And then every three beads, I'm going to do it to split up three beads. And then the ribbons, three beads, and the ribbons. And I grouped all the ribbons in the same order, OCD, whatever. But you could do it however you want. And I just think this turned out so so cute. I absolutely love it. You'll have to let me know what you think. Um, I also made just a simple twine, um, what are they called? Tassels. Yeah. So I want to take a moment and thank you all so very much for being here. And if you are an existing subscriber, you already know I'm so, so, so grateful for you. And if you are new or coming over from the playlist, um, please say hi. Love interacting with, um, my YouTube friends on here, and I would love for you to consider joining my little YouTube family. We have a lot of fun here. So, um, thank you again. So grateful that you're here today with me. Um, all right. So yeah, as I mentioned, I'm painting the beads mineral. And then again, you're going to see me just kind of string them how I mentioned. So enjoy this DIY. The last and final DIY is just the tiered tray. I'll just let that kind of run. You'll see it's super simple. And I know a lot of you've made that so you can fast forward if you want, but then at the very end, you'll see all the DIYs, um, combined on the tiered tray along with some little knickknacky things that I did pick up 40% off. So I hope you enjoy. I will catch up with you in just a little bit. Far too I can't see I'm trapped in darkness Life has turned its Back on me it would seem Brother, help me up I've fallen down Brother, help me up I've fallen down
All right. We're almost to the end here. So, yeah, I, I did break apart an old tray. That's that. There's just a charger plate on the bottom and then like a candlestick I had, like a thick candlestick. Anyway, I'm going to put a little bit of weight on here. Uh, I put one of my mini albums I made. I do have a video on that. It's a Christmas one from last year. Anyway, um, and then, yeah, look, you'll see the pictures. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you so very, very much. Really appreciate your time today. And I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Bye-bye.